25P is very similar to that of the standard SU-25. The airspeed indicator has been altered to include a yellow scale to show true airspeed. A new autopilot panel has been added to the lower left corner of the instrument panel. We'll discuss this panel in more detail later. The HUD is directly in front of you. Let's discuss HUD symbology before exploring the navigation and landing modes. The center of the HUD is dominated by the aircraft datum in the artificial horizon reference line. The aircraft datum represents your plane as viewed from behind. The position of the aircraft datum relative to the artificial horizon indicates your plane's actual position in space. When the aircraft is rolled, the aircraft datum rolls with it, indicating the angle of bank. This allows the pilot to maintain orientation even when the actual horizon is not visible. The aircraft datum is surrounded by a bank angle scale. The large tick marks correspond to 15, 30, and 60 degrees, while the small tick marks indicate 5 and 10 degrees. The aircraft datum is fixed in the center of the HUD, and the horizontal line moves up or down relative to the indicated pitch angle. To the right of the aircraft datum is the artificial horizon pitch angle. Further to the right is the vertical velocity scale, which indicates the aircraft's climb and descent rates in meters per second. In the upper left corner of the HUD is the indicated airspeed in kilometers per hour. The small scale and triangle carrot underneath the IAS is the acceleration deacceleration indicator. The small readout above the IAS is the assigned airspeed for the current route leg. To the right of the IAS is the heading tape with current heading carrot. In the upper right corner of the HUD is the altitude readout. When flying within functional range of the radar altimeter, the PQ will be added to the altitude display to indicate that the radar altitude is being measured. If the aircraft's altitude or bank angle passes beyond the limits of the radar altimeter, the radar altitude indication will be replaced by barometric altitude. The smaller readout above the altitude indication is the assigned barometric altitude for the current route leg. When in nav mode, the range of the selected navigation point is displayed in the bottom center of the HUD, and the sequential number in the route plan for that point is to the right and slightly above the range display. A director circle is in the center of the HUD. The director circle indicates the direction in which you must fly in order to stay on the flight plan. By following the direct circle, you can stay on a route even in zero visibility conditions. Directed flight control makes it possible to find the assigned course line even when manually selecting between waypoints by performing course corrections as directed by the director circle. In route is the primary and most complex autopilot mode, engaged by pressing the A key. In route mode, we'll follow the director circle. Let's give it a try. We'll intentionally take the aircraft off course and engage in route mode. Once the autopilot takes over, we'll just have to monitor the airspeed and keep within limits with inputs on the throttles. 
Note that the autopilot is maneuvered within the restrictions of 15 degrees maximum angle attack and no more than 3 Gs. Landing autopilot mode will be selected when the 